This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Jack Threads. Paul. Paul. Hey. Stop. Stop. Get away from the GH2. Come Look, on. I know that you have a GH1. Good. It's boy. close enough. I know audio <laughs> game bothers you, but you can just use the audio from another camera. Yeah, it'll be okay. All right, it's time to check port 25, which means emails. Moose asks, which segment on which episode in which season did Darren explain how to build this lovely picture frame computer case behind The us. case mod. Yeah, I had a little bit of trouble actually finding those episodes because I don't think somebody actually wrote their segment show notes on the episode. <coughs> Darren. <clears throat> so the episode is 903 and 904. 903 is where he actually built it, and then 904 is where he went back and did all the cable management for the photo frame case mod. I love zip ties. Yeah, me too. Oh my god. Use them everywhere at home. Next. All right, then Alfred wants to know, um, actually he's saying that he just got through season 10 episode 13 and heard some gamer share his definition of the hash slash right, bang, bang slash yes. pound the sign octo, tag. Octo and he wanted to share, <laughs> Paul says it's the Octothorpe. Yeah. <laughs> he says that um, in Swedish it's actually called Bradgard and in English it means lumberyard. Bradgard. And he wishes yeah. us a happy new year. Is it is it like Swedish new year now? Well, I think it's I think it's New Year for everybody except for China. Yeah, this episode comes out. <laughs> yes, it does. So I still like the idea of Swedish New Year though. Why are you killing that my buzz, man? That sounds awesome. In my head, I, I imagine Swedish meatballs Swedish everywhere New Year with meatballs saunas. and beer and yeah, saunas and bradgarts. <laughs> Ragnarok. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. I'll go with the next one. This is from Anonymous. He was wondering if it is possible to set up Tor at the router level. This would provide many benefits for me. I'm going to take a guess and assume that the reason he wants to do this is that he has lots of devices on a wireless network, like an Android tablet. Yeah, that's what I was thinking or too. Like a Roku or something. And just wants to access and, everything from right, Tor. Right, and you don't, you know, you can't necessarily install Tor on a Roku. Right. Um, I don't know. Hmm, maybe you could. What could go wrong? Why uh, not? <laughs> the uh, segment. The solution, I think, to this is for him to actually set up a Tor proxy server and just send everything through that and then out. Ah. Probably be easier. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, we should do a segment on that. Awesome. Unless, awesome unless Untangle or PFSense has like a module that you can install, but I don't. That's possible. I don't know. All right. Now here's a handy tip from Phoenix and Thor. They said, love the show. In episode 1018, towards the end of the show, Kerpap had a problem with the caps lock key. Darren's tip for disabling caps lock is good, but what about using Xmon map to swap the caps lock key with the escape key? And here is how you do it. Make a file called .xmonmap in your home directory that contains the following. Remove lock equals caps lock, key sim caps lock equals escape, key sim escape equals caps lock, and then add lock equals caps lock. There you go. Configure your desktop environment or your window manager to run the following command when you log in, xmon map space dot xmon map. This actually isn't a new trick, but I'm setting it anyway because it's so useful, especially for Vim users. In my opinion, this should be the default for all setups. Oh, and by the way, Shannon, for Jolly Cloud, try hitting Alt F1 to open up a terminal as mentioned here. And he did send me a link to the Jolly Cloud website forums. But Jolly Cloud is for people who mainly use like web apps. It is. I reviewed it a couple of weeks ago and I was trying to get into the terminal because I was having issues getting onto the internet wirelessly on I, my I can understand. I mean, let's be honest. Device. There's only two interfaces that really matter anymore and yeah. that's a web browser and a terminal. But it's very true. If he's somebody who dislikes caps lock <laughs> and is doing everything in the cloud, maybe he should get like one of those hexa hmm. builds for like Chrome OS and install maybe. that on his laptop. That hmm. way he can really stick it to the caps lock man. So that's a good idea. I did want to mention though, um, I did try the Alt F1 before we did the segment. It didn't work for me, so I must have done something wrong. But I also got an email saying that Alt F2 can also pull up the terminal in the Jolly operating system. So if you guys have Jolly OS downloaded, tr both try Alt F1 and F2 and see which one works for you guys. Did you get either of them working? I actually uninstalled Jolly OS, so maybe I should uh, install it again and try them both out. <laughs> All right, guys, stay tuned because we'll be right back with this week's Technolist photo and the trivia after a quick break. If you love alternative apparel brands like Kid Robot, Hurley, and Stussy, but you hate wasting cash, get this. You could score these premium brands at up to 80% off every day at Jack Threads, the invite-only shopping club for guys. 
They're serving up street, skate, and surfwear brands at brain-melting prices. Best of all, Hack 5's hooking you up. That's right, skip the wait list and join free at jackthreads.com slash H-A-K-5 to start saving instantly without having to leave the house. All hey, right. Colleen, guess what? It's time for the Technolist photo of the week. Darn tootin'. So Mark is sending us a photo of him with not only his awesome Hack 5 t-shirt and his netbook, but also his newborn son. Aww. I love children. Do you? Properly cooked. Oh my god. <laughs> well, congratulations on your newborn son. It's very exciting. And send your photos over to feedback at hack5.org. And I hope your son becomes a new viewer for us a couple of years down the line. That would be awesome. Are we still going to be doing this then? Oh, yeah, I'm going to do this forever. All right, it's time for trivia. Last week we asked, where did hacker Kevin Mitnick get the idea for his handle Condor? Hmm, where did he get that idea? The answer is the movie Three Days of the Condor. Oh. Have you ever seen that movie? You know, I haven't. I've just seen that like little skit of in the middle of the movie where he, the Condor guy is on the phone and he whistles. I've only ever seen like Operation Condor <laughs> and I don't think it's analogous. That's like Jackie Chan, right? Do you? Love we should Jackie totally Chan. have a Jackie Chan movie night. I Woo! Popcorn. With Mr. Mr. Nice Guy. Oh, have you seen the new police story? Like the really no. new one? No. It's really good. I haven't seen any. Is that a Jackie Chan movie too? Yes. Okay, Hence I haven't seen any segue. in a long time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, so. All right. So this week's question is, what backronym refers to the 8P8C or 8 position 8 contact connector that is often confused with RJ45? Hmm. I have no clue. But you guys can answer over at hack5.org slash trivia for a chance to win some awesomely cool swag if you know the answer. What? And as usual, you guys know where to find us. You can go over to hack5.org slash follow to find out where you can follow us and where you can download the show. Make sure you get it over at iTunes and YouTube and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, all that swaggy swag. And you can always find your favorite Hack 5 goodies over at hakshop.com, like our brand new USB rubber ducky version, too. And like hoodies and stuff and t-shirts. Hoodies, t-shirts, oh yeah, all that I good stuff. I should have stolen one because I just realized I'm wearing the same outfit. You are. And <laughs> except that, like, you know, I wasn't going to say now, anything. Now I'm science and um, medicine, whereas last week I You know, was it looks good. Command. Looks good on you. Yeah, next time, let's see, so there's red, and there's uh, blue, and then if I were gold, I would gold. be engineering. So next week, Aww. maybe I'll be gold. Nice. I don't think I'll be on next week, but if I were, I would be gold. We'll see. We'll see, man. We'll see. All right. And you can always find your favorite hack tips every other Friday over at hak5.org. Until next week, I'm Shannon Morse. And I'm Colleen Henry. Trust your technolist. Let's go watch some Jackie Chan movies. I love Jackie Chan. Yeah. So much. Ah. Du, 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 du. Hey Paul, how's it going? Five. <laughs> so, mm. <laughs> oh my god! Today we're going to be going to some kind of. We use links and grep because. I'll be like, I'll be Shannon. Where's my Apple box? <laughs> And we do it again. All right, hey guys, welcome to this segment, and we're gonna be going through something really awesome. Um, yeah. Oh yeah! yeah. <laughs>